the report is this morning that Calvin Johnson, one of the great wide receiver talents in the history of the National Football League, uh, is going to retire. And it's interesting that Calvin Johnson, with a lot of legs and a lot of plays left, is going to retire. And Barry Sanders, in his prime, with a lot of years left, retired, both from Detroit. What a shock. In both instances, it was a massive waste of talent. history, the attitude, the people. Detroit stands alone. I'm proud to say this is where I started my NFL career. Good eye, Mike. I guess you could say it's where I grew up. In a time when this city had its back against the ropes, you knew it would swing back. This one's for my teammates in the city of Detroit that's on a comeback of its own. It's where I started my family, where I became a husband and a father. This city will always be a part of me. Whoa! Hey, hey, that's the time I can play, right? No, 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 yeah, no, no. give me, get the, help me off. I can throw the ball. Play the game, chase the snap, roll, throw, then go. Touchdown, Detroit Lions! That kid just showed some real grit. Matthew Stafford is about to be 33 years of age, and he has an injury history. Remember, now 2018, he missed half the season. He had a, uh, this year, he had thumb, rib, cartilage damage. In 2019, fractured bone in his back. 2016, dislocated finger. 2011, broken finger. 29, 2010, separated shoulder. Dislocated patella tendon in his knee, also in 2009. Oh yeah, by the way, Skip, uh, how many playoff games has he won? You know, for 12 years, all except for three of those 12 years, he was at home during the playoffs. And for most of, you know, nine out of those 12 years, he watched other quarterbacks, you know, author their legend um, while he was at home. And I asked him at one point, I was like, what do you want out of the rest of your career? And he was, he was at an autograph signing. Um, and he, he put down the pen and he looked at me and he said, you know, I just want to play in big games. I just want to make big throws against the top competition when everyone is watching. Matthew Stafford has, is not an MVP caliber player. He's a good quarterback. He's not a great one, but he's a good one. You give up Goff, two firsts, and a third? Stephen A., basically what this trade says is they have to win a Super Bowl. They've got to win a Super Bowl, what, in the next two years? Or it's a disaster. <laughs> I'm a fan of Matthew Stafford. I think he has superstar capability, and I believe he's going to have a career rebirth in Hollywood with the Rams at SoFi. The only thing we paid attention to for the Detroit Lions was Matt Stafford, mm -hmm. right? His talent lends itself to us believing that he was in a franchise where we knew they weren't gonna win games, so we didn't see him. But NFL players know how good Matthew Stafford is. The talent is elite. That's why for Sean McVay, he said, I'm going to go get a quarterback that I feel like can go beyond the X's and O's. When I'm not on my A game, I got a guy that can overcome that. That is the thought process that, that he has with Matthew Stafford. Stafford throwing for the first time in a diving catch. Play action. Wide open. Thank you. Hey, that's big Great job, bro. guy. I got all day back there. That's what I'm talking about. Second down and six with Cup in the backfield. Stafford sets, throws, end zone, touchdown, Cooper Cup. There's now all the headlines of you're the missing piece that this Rams organization needed to take them all the way and win it this time. Do you feel pressure being here or do you welcome it? Oh, I love it. You know, I mean, these are expectations that I want. 
you know, if I play my best, um, you know, I feel like we have as good a team as anybody. Mm -hmm. It's a realistic chance and a, and a chance to, you know, go do what I've always wanted to do, and that's, you know, win a Super Bowl. So, shoot, I hope I'm here for a long time. I hope I'm, you know, got a couple rings on my finger. And at this point, it's the only thing we're playing for. Is attacking them in the air. Boy, no pressure on Stafford. Jackson, they finally hit it. Deshaun Jackson, touchdown. Four. Off the fake to Michelle. Stafford fires to a wide open Cooper Cup. Snapper hit it. It's going to air it out. Deep downfield. Wide, wide, wide open. And then, yes, it's a strong division, but man, I think that with the weapons on offense, weapons on defense, the LA Rams were, in a lot of ways, a quarterback away last year and the year before, and when they were in the Super Bowl before, I think that Matthew Stafford can take them there. Here's one for Becca. Got him. Touchdown. Stafford throws for Cup. He's got it. Cooper Cup. It's a rare touchdown. Rams go a little tempo to keep Baltimore in the same personnel grouping. So Stafford takes a deep shot. On first down of 10, Stafford loads up for the deep shot. Running ahead of everyone is Van Jefferson. Matthew Stafford came in 0 in 3. 0 in 3. This man is top 12 in yards, top 12 in touchdowns right now. 0-3 in the playoffs. This run that he is on right now can take him out of the seat and put him in a Hall of Fame chair Amen. if he wins this Super Bowl. I think Kyler Murray can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any quarterback in the National Football League right now. Locked one for Odell Beckham Jr. Shell top of your screen, they split him out. Stafford to throw, Scott Beckham again, down the sideline. Passion, Odell Beckham Jr. Here's Stafford, loads up, middle of the field for Van Jefferson. On the money. You know, hopefully it's not just one. Hopefully it's a bunch in a row and, and uh, you end up doing what you want to do at the beginning of the season. It's way. It is through. 
It is good! Thirteen years, a tunnel of chaos and trailing. You know, for years, since Matt Stafford's entered the NFL, since he entered the league, he leads the NFL in fourth quarter comebacks. And for years and years, we always said, yeah, that's because he always trails in Detroit. Yeah, but he still played for Detroit. He came back and won those games. And now you're like, oh, it wasn't just Detroit. It's Matt Stafford. Stafford, end zone cup. He's got it. Touchdown Rams. Got popped by He's over here to check out. Here is Beckham. Found a hole in this defense. They're down and one. Stafford, end zone cup. Got it. Touchdown Rams. Opportunity for the 49ers. It doesn't pan out. And now Beckham. And he gets it. Do you think he, if he wins it, he's he's winning it in, in essence also for you and for the other guys in Detroit who thought that you, there had an you opportunity? Dang right. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, but you're dang right. We want we want Matthew to win because you know you gotta come to Detroit. That's like oh, that's just that's the graveyard, you know, but. It's not. You know, you got guys that are, you know, fighting their tail off trying to be great. You know, I fully expect him to win it, but, uh, you know, I'm really, I'm, I'm hoping that he does because, you know, one, he's a friend. Two, just really proud of what he's done. Um, one, in Detroit, but definitely, I mean, being in the first year, they brought you in here to go to the championship, and you're able to do that. So that, 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 that's just awesome. I, I just think that he has the gift. He's always had the gift. And really great. He's always had great touch, great pocket presence. You know, hustles when he runs out of the pocket. I mean, I've seen the guy, we've seen the guy get injured. Big time. Big time, and then get up and keep playing. I mean, the respect and admiration he has from other players is, is uh, uh, you know, undeniable. Mm-hmm. So I really, I've, I'm just so happy for him. I really am. if not the most clutch postseason stretches ever, performance-wise by a quarterback. Tampa Bay, San Francisco. Molly, literally, they've won three straight postseason games by three points. All three contained game-winning drives by Matthew Stafford. It's never been done. I, I mean, it's not hyperbolic. It is a fact. You know, Matthew, sometimes when a, a guy leaves a city, there's hard feelings. It, it never felt that way when you left Detroit. Could you feel the love, not only from the organization, but the fans over this last month during this title run? Yeah, I really could. I, uh, it was amazing. You know, I mean, like you said, there's no reason for them to cheer for me anymore. And, and the fact that they did was just a true testament to who they are as people and who they are as fans. 